Hello everybody. It's a while since I did not upload any video about the train, but that does not mean I give up. In this video, I have a really good news about train. In last video, I explained we need to reduce the amount of the GPU memory usage. Here, I just remove all textures from train to be able to measure the improvement of GPU memory usage. Also, I have two textures, one for height map and one for normals. And these two textures are huge. These are 8K textures and because of that, it occupy a lot of GPU memory. You can see here, GPU memory is 863. Also, texture memory is 723 megabyte. Well, I reduced these a lot. This is the same train with the same texture, but here texture memory is around 200 and GPU memory is around 350. And I believe I can still reduce these more. In this day, I struggled a lot for this. I mean, it was not easy, but at last something is working. Let me explain a little how I did that. But please, if you didn't watch my other video about my train, please watch them first. I will put a link down in the description so you can understand these better. So now here, I just divided my train to different region. Each region has a different material. Also, I divide everything related to train like height map, normal map to different region. But please note, dividing height map is not easy as resizing that image with image class. I wrote a special algorithm for that because different chunks of train share vertices in edges. And if you resize height map in bad way, there will be a gap between different train chunks. So after creating different regions, I check the lowest LOD number of each region and then I just resize height map and normal map according to that. So what does this mean? It means for the train which has the lower density of vertices, they also have height map or normal map with lower resolution. So this is how you can add your height map or normal map. In shader code, just add a uniform with M train prefix. You should not add this texture directly here. Instead, two properties will appear in inspector, which you should pass the file path of the corresponding images. You can also add other things related to the train, like a splat map in this way. Yeah, simple like that. After that, train will automatically create a material for each region and will put a suitable image texture there. But unfortunately, I could not pass height map images as half float. It seems when image texture wants to create a texture from image, it cannot do properly when image is half float image. This is the result of my train with half float. And at first I thought there is a bug in my code, but after that I understand that this bug is for Godot. I hope they will solve this problem as soon as possible so we can use also half float uh, images. But for now we can use full floating point. I'm still working on this and in the following days as this get ready I start to clean this up. Also I will publish more video about this algorithm with more detail. Have a good time until the next video. Bye.